Boom! Live and direct. Chenik, your host from the chilling spot. Yeah, yeah. That's my spot. It's like an extension to my backyard. And I am back with you for another day to give thanks, another chance to give thanks for life. You know, it's a chance to wake up alive every morning and be feel alive also not just be alive you have to feel it and to feel that you're alive uh, you have to do things to feel alive that's the thing that's what we miss we are alive we're all alive but we don't all feel that deep aliveness uh, that allows us to, to, to rise from the dead uh, and this this aliveness that we have to cultivate be always sharp always keep a sharp mind always keep a a goal, a goal in mind. Always have goals. I have goals every time I wake up in the morning. I have goals. I know what I'm gonna do during the day. I'm not a drone robot. Eh? I can think for myself, and that that's very important. Like I told to Sam, that the freedom of the mind, the freedom of the mind, is very very important because this is how also you're gonna get to a personal mastery, eh? to master your uh, your whole being. Eh? Is by freeing your mind and by freeing your mind just by freeing your mind from all this nonsense that we are bombarded with just that you can go a long long way you can go a long way because it's a it's a it's a mind game it's a mind game so if you have a strong mind if you have a strong will to survive nothing can stop you from surviving you know if you have a strong will to survive a strong will to achieve what you want to do nothing will stop you other than you if you don't take action if you stop in the process and say hey this is not for me it's too much work no, do the work that's required you know you got to be willing to sacrifice who you are for what you're going to become at any time at any time you must be willing to you no know, it's not about your little leisure and pleasure life my life is not about leisure and pleasure and uh, my life is about rising. Yeah, sometimes I might have a bit of moment of leisure or pleasure, but I transform them into something productive like here. You know, that's a moment where I come to mid-state to, to, to relax and to chill. I'm with Sam. He's gone on the island somewhere. He's gone on an exploration session. But yeah, I come here to, uh, to stay inspired, to just feel the vibe just feel the vibe and feeling alive feeling the aliveness very important to feel that aliveness to not just anyway i don't know me uh, me i think life is meant to be experienced to be lived to be uh, not only lived but you know in the word alive you have the a live ease alive you know you gotta find that alive anyway for me it's a uh, it comes natural all that stuff you know, to be motivated and to be uplifted for life it comes very natural i think it should come natural i don't force nothing it's you no know, what else do i have in life to be motivated than life itself i'm gonna go get wet i think it's kind of hot here what is there oh, it's a bit rocky i don't know this one to cross there but maybe i'll go over there i'll cross on the other side and but yeah, that's it. It's just give thanks for life each and every day. Each and every day, give thanks for life. And that, there is many ways to give thanks for life. You know, just to be respectful of people around you, to be appreciative of nature and all that stuff. It's giving thanks for life. It's not necessarily take your camera and go speak to the world. That's not exactly what it is for me. And there's a lot of stuff involved in the giving thanks for life, you know, just by respecting others, respect life, you know, having respect for life, very important, but we miss that, uh, we miss that vibe, we go, uh, I don't know, we go astray at one point and we just, uh, we're contented with the low stuff, contentment is important, but there is more in life than, life is bigger than my life, and that's what I want to get in touch with. I know that life is bigger than my life. Life doesn't happen in a box. Life doesn't happen in a castle. Life, life happens outside. 
outside it's outside then that I always knew that and that's why I do all my video outside and I know life happens outside not inside a box and especially not inside a, a conceived box or a, a box that we impose to ourselves or that we get put over us or that we keep there also we love the box we love the box or we would uh, go outside of that box before no we love the fantasy we love the box life the cage life no it's to live a charge life that's what we must uh, seek a charge life it's very very different from a from a box life you don't get the same vibe there. you don't get the same vibe at all at all when you're caged, when you're trapped with all the worries and the, the stuff that happens normally in life that everybody has to deal with and if you get trapped in this like elevate above this and elevate above the worries, the anxiety, the all the stuff and just realize that you're here, alive right here, right now That's what I tell myself. It's not because I'm free of anxiety, free of everything, but I rise above that stuff. I don't like I don't let that take control over me. I'm stronger, you know, that's what it is. When you develop strength, you get to that state of mind where you go over your anxiety, over your fear, over all this is a state of mind. But you have to acquire 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 it. It doesn't happen from one day to another. You gotta work hard to, to get it, to want to get it, to go towards it, non-stop. Always non-stop towards your dreams, towards the, the, your goals, your great goals, your big goals. And you know, think big but dream bigger. Think big but act bigger, that's what I mean. Think big but act bigger always. At least start thinking. <laughs> At least just to start thinking is a good, uh, a good start. Thinking for ourselves, then we can design a life. We can start thinking of designing a life of greatness, a life of magnificence, a life where there's less suffering. Né? Suffering can be mental also. Né? When you uh, don't live up to your uh, potential, uh, there's something happening inside. Né? No matter what, it's some kind of spiritual suicide. Whether you notice it or not, or you're aware of it or not, it is happening. You're not living up to your potential. And you know it, and, but you prefer to, to cover it up with some nonsense and some fantasy and some lies and other stuff to justify the way you live. That's what I did <laughs> for a long time, living the lie, living the, the, the nonsense and the, not seeing what is to be seen. For what it is to be seen, and like it's to see things for uh, for what they are, also, and realize that life is very, very big. Life is big. Life is big, and it's gonna take a while to get in touch with all the great stuff. It's possible day by day. Wake up and give thanks for life. Amen.